Brian, you were here first in 2013 at PCMI. How did that affect uh, your teaching? So it affected my teaching in, in three big ways. Uh, the first way is how, what I was doing in the classroom. It, it, I made some significant changes to how I assess kids, both formatively and summatively. The second way that it changed my uh, practice is I also started doing a lot more professional development and the, the, the workshops I was giving were tied directly to the math and the reflection I learned while at PCMI in 2013. And then the third way was I really built my network of professional colleagues and connections. Tell me more about that network. What, um, what were some of the details of that? So at, at Park City, we get the opportunity to meet with and spend a lot of time with a lot of other K-12 educators. And, and also, uh, every year, the NCTM president seems to make an appearance for about a week or so. And so the year that I was here, Linda Gojak was the president at the time. And um, so I had a chance to sit down with her, have lunch with her, share with her about what I'm interested in doing and where I see myself potentially going, and she saw some potential there, and she eventually appointed me to be on program committee for NCTM's regional in Philadelphia. And so that's about a two-year process of being on the committee, looking at the, the program, shaping what we want the program to be, thinking about the vision of it, and choosing who are the speakers. And so it was a really good experience to help me kind of get a sense of what NCTM's work is about. And since then, I've been on other committees of NCTM. I'm now on the Curriculum Resource Committee, which is one of the standing committees, and I'll also be chairing the NCTM Annual Committee um, co Program Committee in San Diego for 2019. How do you think the work that you do with NCTM um, influences or affects what you're now doing at PCMI this year? Yeah, so now I'm back at PCMI, it's now 2017, and I've continued to grow those relationships. A lot of the people I know from 2014 are now on staff here. And so the, all the rest participants are people brand new to Park City Math Institute. And so I've got a chance to meet these new and upcoming uh, math teachers, try to get them engaged, find out what interests they have, encouraging them to speak at conferences, um, encouraging them to get involved with, with NCTM, join committees. We just had Robert Berry here a week or so ago, and he was, and he's the president-elect. And he uses, just like Linda did five years ago, he uses his space to find new energy, find new participants, get some new ideas to help make sure that NCTM is vibrant and 